In this tutorial for Para 3D 2.8, I'm going to show you how to array a component, um, whether it be an edit mesh or an FFD box, between two different surfaces. So let's start by creating a NURB surface. Go to your Create tab, um, Shapes, NURBS Curves. You can use a point curve or a CV curve. I'll just make a copy of this one. Okay, and so to create a NURB surface, you have to create two or more uh, NURBS curves, and then go to the Modify tab and select one of the curves. And then if you open up the NURBS palette, you can create a U surface or a ruled surface, um, but we're going to create a U surface here, and you just select them one at a time, and then right click when you're done. And then if you um, select the surface, you can then change the display parameters of it. So if you go to display line parameters, you can select ISO only, so you don't have to look at all of the grid of the NURB surface. Uh, makes it a little easier to see. So now that we have a surface, we can adjust the the points of that each of those curves. So let's make it a little more dynamic. Okay, and I'm also going to make a copy of this surface and move it vertically and just a copy. I want to change it so it's not the exact replica of the bottom surface, so I want to use copy. And then adjust the points of this surface as well. So the goal will be to array um, these two components within the space between these two surfaces. So the first thing you have to know when arraying with two surfaces is that you're going to um, ask the array or control the vertices with these surfaces. So you want to control the top vertices with the upper surface and the bottom vertices with the lower surface. Now with an edit mesh, um, if you select the mesh and then go to the vertex of object level, um, you can select these vertices and on the right you can see which vertex is selected. The important thing to know is not exactly which vertice is which, but to know that if an edit mesh, the bottom vertices are the first four vertices and the top vertices are the last four vertices. So one, two, three, four on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight on the top. With an FFD box, Max calculates these vertices or control points a little differently. Um, so what you have to keep in mind is that with an FFD box, it uses the odd points for the bottom vertices and the even points for the upper vertices. So it's a little different than the edit mesh. So depending on which uh, component type you're arraying between these two surfaces, you want to make sure you're using the correct vertices in the array. So let's start with the edit mesh. This is just a box that I converted to an edit mesh. Um, and I'm going to make a copy of this surface as well, and I'll use this copy for the FFD box. I'll hide that for now. Right click, hide selection. Okay, so first let's make an array of this edit mesh box. Uh, select para. And this is going to be a two-dimensional array, so I'll have an array in one dimension and the second dimension. So I want to have a number for the first value and the second value. Let's go with 10 and 7. And these can be copies. Say create. And when it brings up the dialog, you do want to apply transformation on these vertices, so say yes. And then let's first start by changing the position of each of these geometries so that the gizmos um, are aligned with the different arrayed objects. So let's start by just um, arraying the position on a surface controller. And then we'll pick the first surface. It doesn't actually matter which one you pick. This is just bringing the gizmo over to these surfaces. So we'll just start with one of these surfaces. Um, and then you can update the array and you see that it just locates um, the gizmo basically of each of these arrayed objects uh, fairly close to where the final location will be. So I'm going to deselect that and now I want to array the, the master points. So with the edit mesh remember that the top four vertices are the final four vertices so I'm going to select five, six, seven, eight and now I'll array this with a surface modifier as a copy and then I want to pick the top surface, so curve 003. And then I always want to add on the vector controller a sub-object uh, controller. So this will control the sub-objects of that edit mesh, the vertices of that edit mesh. Say OK. And we can update. You can see the top surface now fits with that um, upper surface of the 
NURBS surface. So now I want to deselect each of these and select my top or my first four vertices and do the exact same thing but using the bottom surface as the controller. So I'll use a surface controller on those four vertices as a copy. OK. I'm going to pick the bottom surface and I will add a sub-object controller to the vector controller as a copy and update that. So you can see that now the component is filling the void between those two surfaces. So let's do the same thing now, but let's do um, an array of the FFD box. So I'll go ahead and hide these. Oop. Go ahead and hide these. Okay, so go ahead and create an array of the FFD box. We'll do the same amount here. Let's go 10 and 7. And instead of uh, an edit mesh, you're going to use an FFD modifier, so you want to apply the transformation to the control points. So you want to say yes here. Um, but we're not going to use the mesh below, so we want to say no here. We're using the FFD to control that array between the surfaces. So no to that mesh. And again, we'll change the position of this object using a surface controller. Pick the bottom surface, update that locates the geometry there. And now we want to open up our object, open the FFD 2x2x2, two by two by two, uh, the master points. So remember now with an FFD box, your even points are the top points, your odd points are the lower points. So let's start with the even points, 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, we're going to apply a surface controller. As a copy, we want to pick that upper surface and we want to add a sub-object controller to the vector controller, update, and now we'll do the same thing for the lower surface. So I'll deselect 2, 4, 6, and 8, select 1, 3, 5, and 7, add my surface controller, pick the lower surface, add a sub-object controller and the vector controller input and then you can array your FFD box between the two surfaces. Remember if you ever animate, if I animate these that will allow me to adjust the uh, vertices of the surface and then it'll update automatically. If I don't do that it's okay I can still um, update that array. So if I select one of these surfaces for example and then move these control points I just have to manually update that. So if I select array, if I right click select array and then go over to my array settings here, um, I can always hit update and it'll uh, fix that change.